The vote on the fate of the U.S. Speaker of the House could be much more chaotic than we're expecting in Canada today. A potentially tumultuous process now triggered in a move last night by Republican hardliner Matt Gates. The gentleman will state the form of his resolution. Declaring the office of Speaker of the House of Representatives to be vacant. Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy is now facing that vote over his fate. Under congressional rules, the vote must happen within the next two days. So we watch with bated breath, assisted again this morning, such as my luck two days in a row. Paul Hunter back with us from Washington. Uh, a simple majority would be enough to oust Kevin McCarthy from the Speaker's chair. Does he have the votes? I'm talking about does Matt Gates have the votes this time, Paul? Hey, Heather, yeah, you know, I could wax on about this, but the truth is, indeed, we'll know for real very shortly because of that two-day rule you mentioned. So, you know, we'll know by Thursday one way or the other. Gates himself seems to believe the answer is he probably does not have the votes to boot McCarthy out of his job. He needs just a tiny handful of Republicans on side with him if all Democrats also vote against McCarthy, but there's no guarantee of that. Gates, though, sees it as a win, even if McCarthy hangs on, because the whole thing has kind of pushed McCarthy into an uncomfortable political corner, because if McCarthy does rely on Democrat votes to stay in the chair, as Gates sees it, he's sullied, not a real Republican, and thus is further weakened. Here's how Gates frames the possible outcomes for McCarthy. Well, I have enough Republicans where, at this point next week, one of two things will happen. Kevin McCarthy won't be the Speaker of the House, or he'll be the Speaker of the House working at the pleasure of the Democrats. And I'm at peace with either result, because the American people deserve to know who governs them. Democrats are meeting this morning on Capitol Hill to strategize what demands they might make in return for supporting McCarthy, Heather. Meanwhile, Republicans are also meeting to consider what they should do. And McCarthy does have other options, including uh, procedural steps to punt or possibly kill the vote altogether. So lots of moving parts on this. So uh, as we're speaking, Paul, he's giving interviews to American Network News this morning and saying in one of them with CNBC that he expects to survive any challenge. Here's the quote, I'm an optimist, I put money on myself. If he is proven right and he does survive, where does that leave him politically? Yeah, well, and let's be honest, uh, he's going to say that no matter what he thinks, right? But l let me put it this way. Remember John Boehner, Republican Speaker of the House from 2011 to 2015? His time in that job was also under threat from within for almost the whole time he was in the chair. Um, and as with McCarthy, it was from the far right. Eventually, Boehner basically couldn't take it anymore and he quit. In McCarthy's case, it's clear Matt Gates is intent on staying the course on this, and Gates can force these votes anytime he chooses. It was McCarthy himself, as a condition for getting the votes that brought him to the speakership in the first place, it was McCarthy who agreed back in January to tweak the rules to allow any one sitting representative to call such a vote at any time. And Gates has strongly suggested, even if this vote fails, he'll try again. And again and again, hoping that the nay votes grow over time. Bottom line, there's no doubt McCarthy's in a tough spot, though, as he'd have it. It's just another day at the office. Here's a clip. I'm just going to focus on doing the work I'm supposed to do. Uh, I think this is a, a question to the institution itself. I know in the past, the other leaders together always <coughs> believed that this should never be in play, but I'm not worried about it. And as you noted, Heather McCarthy saying just this morning he expects to keep his job, at least for now. He does have history on his side. No speaker has ever been booted from office in this manner. But the one certainty in all of this is it would seem Republican infighting on Capitol Hill is just getting started. Thank you, Paul. Paul Hunter from Washington this morning.